In strange horticulture, you play as the owner of a strange plant shop. Your plants allow you to influence the world outside your quaint shop through their uniquely magical abilities, which is why all the locals in this rainy Victorian town come to you to solve their problems. But your collection is woefully unlabeled, so you'll need to deduce what each of these plants do by using your botany book and your puzzling abilities. In this video, we're going to relax, pour ourselves a cup of blood orange tea, and settle in for a cozy gaming session. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like it and subscribe if you're interested in more cozy game recommendations and let's plays. Okay, let's get started. Looks like we got a nice little shop. Some plants already. Little note. Oh, can I zoom in on this? Uh, it's quite small. I found it. An excerpt on the elusive wandering blue. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. These are a lot of words I do not know. Simone. P.S. Give Hellbore a good scratch behind the ear from me. Hellbore. Is that your name? Your Hellbore? Oh gosh. You can pet the cat. 10 out of 10. Oh look, closer inspection. The vein leaves have a waxy finish. Okay. So they have veined waxy leaves. Oh, I have many plants. Look at all the plants I have. And I see a little bell here. Oh, okay. Did I just call upon my first customer? Victoria Gray. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. I have an unusual request. At night I hear whispered voices too faint to hear clearly coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives there. I don't think I can help you, ma'am. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. Oh gosh, there's a plant for, for that, for voices in your head? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I have a little drawer. Oh, my little drawer and I love it. I do have a magnifying glass. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? This is, oh, is this coded? A coded message? Oh, we have a very big map to explore. This is quite a map. Black comb, boodle. Ravenglass, love that name. Tea Bay, oh, that's for me, Tea Bay, haha. Hmm. I'm gonna put you away for now, friend. I'm gonna take out this book. Strange Book of Plants by Wilfred Voynich. Voynich? This encyclopedia can be used as a reference to help identify plants. Note that where I have included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid to identification. Often the description will be more useful to you. Remember to take care when dealing with poisonous plants. I accept no responsibility should injury or death occur as a result of misuse of this encyclopedia. Fox button, what a cute name for a plant. I just tried to flip a page, but uh, instead I moved the whole book. Too immersed into this game. The vibrant petal of this flower can be brewed to create a drought, which can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. The flowers of the same poppy are bright red with a yellow center. Bright red with a yellow center. Oh, it even looks like the picture, even though they told me not to use the picture as a reference. Let's see if there's another... Oh, look, a little note. What's this? I don't know where this is supposed to be, but I have a little note. Okay, so we have our main suspect here. Let us see if there is another red flower with a yellow yellow head. What do you call these things? Yellow center. <laughs> uh, red with a yellow center. Hmm. Okay, so I don't really see another one that looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. The flowers are red with a sweet scent. Okay. <gasps> Plant identified. We did it. We get a book entry. And according to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. <gasps> That's amazing. How? The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Love Lock. Well, that's neat. Okay, so I think we need to tag our little plant here. How do I tag it? Oh, it's so much is happening on screen. Okay, so I'm gonna call it St. John Bobby. St. John's Bobby. That's what it's called. Keep it yellow, sure. I don't really know what to do with this note. I'm just gonna put you here. I don't know what to do with this either. I think we are ready for our next customer. Good morning. Bloody awful weather out there today. Good for plants though, eh? Sure. Plants love water. I know that. I own a garden shop, plant shop. I know. God's Forth is a hateful town. Oh my 
What? I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. I'm sorry for laughing. It's just, it's, I, I really expected a pleasant letter. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had become to fear that the wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in this cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. It's okay, Amos. I've also been to Miami. I'm gonna scratch you. You deserve- Oh, I found it! I found Gosforth. Well, that must be where he was, right here in these woods. Can we perhaps- Oh my gosh! I just zipped over here or something. The wood has a calming effect on my mind and does me good to escape into nature, away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. That is so cool. I oh, wait, I got a check mark. Yay, I did a good job. Okay. Oh, oh, let's do the same with this letter then. It's just, uh, oh, I'm gonna put that here. Oh no, <laughs> I don't know how to use the map. Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take a long way around, through the back burrow. I never did trust the sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I've brought fennet from the saf trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Of course, of course, sir. Lemon dandy. Yes, I'm quite quite familiar with lemon dandy, my mother's favorite flower. Its curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to the peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. Oh, did someone break your heart, Gilbert? It's curled leaves. So we're looking for curly leaves. This is a curly leaf. To be honest, this is curly as well. The problem is, I have a few curly leaves here. This could be lemon dandy, and this could be lemon dandy. Oh, hold up. We're supposed to go by pictures sometimes. I would say this looks like the picture. I will give you this. This is a lemon dandy, yes. And we get a new plant. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love that one. Okay, let us name our lemon dandy. I know this is boring, but I already used yellow, and now I have to use yellow again. Lemon dandy. Um, every time you get a plant right, you have to scratch the cat. It's the rule. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills of northeast of Backborough. We have to find Backborough. Maybe it's on the right side. I found white barrel. Maybe it's on the opposite of white barrel. <gasps> Back barrel. Okay, let's read the note again. Hmm. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills of northeast of Back barrel. Okay, I have to say that I think it is right here. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started out as a gray morning has turned to bright sunshine. A good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over a cloak of unwelcome shade. We have a dangerous plant. Okay, so I think we should label this one as dangerous. Just so we remember, we'll call him Danger Paul Robinson. And we don't know what he is, but we know he is dangerous. I think that's important to know, right? My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing, but not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly, horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. Forest Camfrey. I will conjure you up some Forest Camfrey to help you with your your slender man dreams. The strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful, soporific effect. 
oh, I don't know what soporific is, but it sounds like a cool word, making it a common ingredient in sleeping drugs. The camphrey produces a beautiful rounded dark blue cluster made up of many smaller flowers. Okay, that's a good clue. Now, this would you say is a cluster of flowers? Because I would say so. Beautiful rounded dark blue cluster. But does it mean round or oval? Oh, <gasps> no, wait, this is the lemon dandy. I would say it's this. I think you're a forest camphrey. Oh yes, this is it. This is it. <gasps> oh my gosh, that wasn't a forest camphrey. Oh my God, I got my first one wrong. What? Do I have a forest camphrey? I am not happy about what just happened. I just contributed rising dread. I have a growing fear deep within me. I cannot let it take it hold. Oh no. I hope that does not affect me. Rounded dark blue. You know what? These are not dark blue, <gasps> but these are dark blue. I think this is what we were looking for. And now I'm kind of nervous about giving it to her. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm so sorry. I got it right at least. Butterdale. 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 <laughs> Butterdale. Butterdale, also known as the booty run Dixie rat. Okay. Well, someone had fun with the Latin versions. I am going to label this little dude. Uh, I'm going to give you a little purple and you are a force cam three. All right, we are going to, oh, we can explore. I think I need to finish this one up because I have this last one that says there is something in Amberside. I wonder if it's okay for me to just take time off work to visit a random city. Who's going to fire me? Oh, Ambleside. Here we are. Let's jump cut to Amberside. Where we, what, whoop, there you go. The library here in Amberside is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passions for unusual plants. Today she is grinning from ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. Oh, nice, I get book entries. Okay, I have one for the Gilded Dendra. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to dangerous miasma. A sure and painful way to die. Oh lord. The poison is so potent and even touching the leaves on this plant can be painful. Let's keep an eye out for that one. Oh, and I didn't even read the other one. All right then. Got any wandering blue. This always reminds me of, oh, what's his nickname? That old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the blue if you have it. Wait, didn't we just read something about the blue? Oh yeah, here it is, the wandering blue. Let me pull my old timey magnifying glass. I found it, an excerpt on the elusive wandering blue. Anyway, the blue, if you have it, I don't, do I have the blue? I thought I just know about the blue. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There are two blues. Is the wandering blue the poisonous one? Oh, wandering blue. Okay, she does want wandering blue. Let's so called because the fungus can move slowly in the dark. It has been known to cover distances up to several meters in a single night. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. Okay, the gills on the underside of this mushroom. Okay, so we're talking about a mushroom here. This one smells like sour milk. The undersides on this are sharp. They are also quite hard and sharp. I think this is our guy. Here's the thing, I've been wrong before. Am I willing to do this? I'm gonna say yes. Yes, okay. Wandering blue has been identified. And I get a little paper now. On the Lady of Summer, the leaves curl round delightfully, which combine with an attractive flower and a handy nature make this sought after. I feel like I should be Tracking some of this stuff better. Wandering blue. Fingers bang. I'm gonna keep the red to poisonous maybe. How's that? That was one day. I traveled to three different cities in one day. I am much more productive in game. Okay. I would say you go Hellsborn and give you a little pet. I would say that was an excellent first day. I only filled the world with dread one time. Row H, the third river. 
It started when she found something, something she was not meant to find, a book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Row H, the third river. Oh, I get to keep it. Neat. Very ominous. Wake up, hell's born. We got hell to raise. Actually, let's go to row H. Let's do this. A row H. The third... Wait, I think this would be more dramatic with my magnifying glass. So let's just open this. <laughs> okay, mm, roll age. Come on. Yeah, mm, roll age. One, two, th three. Should I go to the tip of the river? All right, let's take a guess. I'm going to go to the third. Oh, why did I come here? Okay, I don't think that was a good guess. <laughs> oh, I, I need to stay within row H, though. Okay, that was my fault. Okay, wait, we have to open up our shop. Isidore Bohr Bridge. Bring me a sample of Apis Demisusus and be quick about it. That damn cat is sitting off my allergies. You shouldn't have an animal in the shop like this. If you're talking about yourself, you're completely right. You can see your way out. Apis Demisusus. Epistemesus. I feel like you're talking Latin right now, so let me go through the Latin room. It's not booty rum Dixie rat, for sure. Epistemesus. 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 Oh, apis. Are you talking about gandy root? A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. The problem here is we actually have zero information about this plant. I only have a picture to go by, and I don't think we're supposed to trust the pictures very much. This kind of looks like it. The leaves are coarse to the touch. Okay, I think this is it. Gandhi root. Get a book entry? I should have warned that man about the, the leaves being irritating. But he was mean to my cat. So he can figure that out himself. And I will put you up here. Oh, it's the mailman, David Schaffer. Lake under me is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Thank you, David. Oh, let me pull out my old timey magnifying glass. There's an old state mine at the hard knot that has some interesting looking fung. Oh, let me, I don't need this. There's some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by tram waves. Tram waves? The electric train trucks? I thought you might be interested. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Old slate mine at Hard Knot. I'd like to get this out of the way before I forget about having this note. Oh, here we go. Oh. An iron gate rusted by years of abandonment sits across the entrance of a tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, but it won't budge. It is locked. Oh, clavellum is there. Oh, I can't open it. <gasps> Wait! Wait! There is a plant that can unlock any door, isn't it? Where's that plant that can unlock all the doors? It's like the Harry Potter plant. Oh! According to legend, clavellum can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Lovelock. Okay. Yay. Okay. I might have some heart-shaped leaves. Heart-shaped leaves. These are kind of heart-shaped. I don't think this is it, though. Oh, gosh. Okay, let me just put... Oh, wait. That's forced camphrey. Oh my gosh, I almost... Silly me, I almost pulled forced camphrey. Where clavellum should be. I don't think I have this plant. I'm headed to Grizzledell Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are secret of lot and they're not keen to talk to me. I was hoping you might have some of that fox button that would help me win them over. Fox button? I remember fox button. 
An offering of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Okay, that's sweet. Thick, shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs along stems. All right, this could be one. Now, I think this feels more fox buttony because it's like a button-shaped flower. It smells of nothing I can detect. But does it have shiny leaves? Blue flowers, stiff leaves. I feel resistant to just giving you a flower because one feature lines up. But it does have a button-shaped flower to it, so... Oh, okay, fox button it is. Brimlock. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a drought made by using leaves from the brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. Very interesting. Now let us label. Close this. Fox button. Uh, fox button. This purple label there. And we scratch Hellborn. I feel like every time I scratch you, Hellborn, I really just wake you up from a nap. Ooh, Victoria Gray. We've had her as a client before. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of St. John's Poppy. There's a medium using the room illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know that I could use to give them a scare? I would not recommend the Gilded Dendra, as that will kill everyone. Painfully. Theoretically, will get rid of your problem as well. Oh, look at this. This is really neat. Harlequin blue, though. When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with downy pappus. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out a high-pitched shriek. Widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Oh, God. Okay, this is the plant. When a bushy blue heads die back. Bushy blue heads. Um, that's my forest camphor, but this, let's take a closer little look at this one. It's pungent, but not unpleasant. The bulb is a soft yellow and the leaves are waxy. Okay, that is an option, but what about this one? Oh gosh, okay, the picture's really, I think the picture matches this one better, to be honest. Yes, Harlequin Blue. Harlequin. Harlequin, blue. Now I need my Joker red. It's terrible. Bethany Coleman. You may have heard rumors that our Arda is dead. May Arda, um, may yeah, bring her peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look outside for help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sister this letter, they will allow you entry into the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we must require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. Mary's breath. The wide, waxy leaves allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. Yep, ensure secrecy. I do have one plant where the only thing they really told me was that it just had wide waxy leaves. Smooth waxy leaves. I would guess it's this one. <gasps> oh, that is not... Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. <laughs> not Mary's breath. It will never happen again, ma'am. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one. Here you go, ma'am. <laughs> oh, that was a 50-50. Oh, we have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and our Dea has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grizzledale Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Torver. Please help us. Yours in hope, the Sisterhood of Ardina. We have not traveled in a minute, so let's go ahead and visit. So, um, oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to visit this river. Let's visit the river real quick. 
Third river. One, two, three. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from their matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. Hello, plant. Oh, that's it. I just have a new plant. I don't know where that plant is, but it's in here somewhere. Oh, and we have to travel, so... We will travel, but first let's take this customer. Oh! <gasps> Why? I'm this close to reporting you, halfwit. The last plant you get, <laughs> the last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. Uh, I need to think carefully about which plant to use here. My actions could have consequences. Butterdale or Meekdo. Okay, so no itchy leaves. I mean, we knew the leaves were going to be itchy. I just didn't tell you because you were rude to my cat. Nikdu. <laughs> the beautiful flowers made up of many smaller florets make this a sought after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. It may be a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. No Nikdu. Let's do Butterdale. 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 Wait, I remember Butterdale. Butterdale, also known as Booty Rum Dixie Rat, often found growing in clumps on valley sides. Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. The dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to form a poultice. The flowers smell buttery to some people. Oh, wait a minute. I don't really have much to go on here. Oh, this is it. Butterdale. Nice, new plant. Okay, so now that we have our Butterdale, let's pick a yellow label and call it Butter Believe It's Butterdale. A little botanical humor for us. We still have time to travel and investigate this murder that we're somehow wrapped up in. Our secrets have been stolen. Um, you will find us deep in Grizzledale Forest. A mile from the lake shore across Torver. Okay, that's a lot of instruction. Torver, Torver. Where is Torver? <gasps> Torver, I found it. Deep in Grizzledale Forest. Oh, I guess this is Grizzledale Forest. There you go. Oh no, it's nothing here. Uh oh. I feel like I really should find out what's happening here. <laughs> How was I off? Oh yeah, I see where you are. Okay. I'm just gonna find it. North Hawk Head, East Lowick. Oh gosh, that's a very specific point. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure. After studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it would never be found. I wonder if that's what the sisters are after. Okay, forgive me. I will definitely do right this time. A mile from the lake shore, across from Torver. It's either this or this. <sighs> what? As soon as I step off the road, two members of the sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their force. I am not welcome here. I try showing them the letter, but they tell me I'm in the wrong place and move me along without offering any help. It's okay, Hell's Boar. We'll eventually get there. Wilbur Miller. That's a new customer. I'm looking for a plant. I'm a lady of what's it, something or other. Ugh, I'm no green-eyed dreer, that's for sure. My mind is in awe what it used to be. It's the one that's supposed to help with uh, mental decline. Why are you trying to do that to me? Why are you breaking my heart? Lady of Summer. 
The leaves curl around delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a handy nature, make this a sought-after ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory. Associated with old age. So we're looking for round flowers, curly leaves, and a pretty flower. Oh, that is uh, very cute. It kind of looks like it too. I think this is the one. Lady of Summer. And we learned about fennet, which chewing through the tough root of this plant is said to ease with gastric distress and reduce anxiety. I wouldn't mind some of that. Lady of Summer. Should we try again with this Grizzledale Forest? Oh my gosh, I keep messing it up. I feel terrible. Okay, let, let's, let's bury our shame here. Oh, the mailman's here. They're saying Art has been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust that sisterhood, but it seemed to me that Art always looked out for the less fortunate. What the heck? Oh my gosh. We got... The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are determined to explore the Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have the plant up. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Warmest regards, Amos. Okay, so we'll have to be careful with the Great Gables. Should we try again with the sisters? What if I show up with an with a little friendship flower? No. Mm. This is my last shot here. This is the Lake Shore of Trover. This is Grizzled All Forest. Oh my gosh, it's happening, it's happening. A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her a letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a walled courtyard and then through a large oak door along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on a table draped in silk is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all as black as a raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? Asked my escort. I set out to work. Yes, I think I do know it. Isn't there an insanely poisonous plant? I think we read about it. The Brimlock? No. There's something. We read about this though. Yes, this one. The Gilded Dendro. We had a whole little adventure to get it. Or to learn about it. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to Deandra's miasma, a sure and painful way to die. The poison is so potent, even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. It's definitely this. But it's asking me for Wren. The long leaves of wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons and so can be detected and be used to detect them. Though it has no flower, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not, so we only know about its leaves. There are no flowers to this plant then. Oh, look at this one. How is it going to smell for us? It has a scent that scratches the back of my throat. I think it's this one. It looks like the picture too. Ren, yeah, we got it. That's a very uh, unattractive plant. <laughs> I extract a sample of the artist's blood and introduce it to the wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of the wren turn black, which can only mean one thing. Gilded dendro poisoning. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I am grateful for. I got plants? Oh my god. God, they're so pretty. Oh my God, I love them. I really want these plants in real life. 
So that might be as good a place as any to stop. Thanks for coming along with me on this little relaxing adventure into the weird and botanical. I'm gonna do a few more cozy, sort of chilled back let's plays. But let me know in the comments if you want these videos to be more long and uncut or shorter and more edited down. And of course, make sure to have yourself a cozy day and I'll see you next time.